It's powered by your body. Uh, it captures your body heat. Is this real? Emporio Armani is the latest fashion powerhouse to jump aboard the Android smartwatch bandwagon. The company unveiled its first collection of touchscreen smartwatches at Fashion Week in Milan earlier this year. The Armani Connected is unquestionably attractive, with a name that oozes style and sophistication. Our model is made from black plated stainless steel, and the metal strap has a mixture of polish and matte links. There's been no skipping on build quality either. The Armani Connected definitely feels like a more premium smartwatch thanks to the stainless steel band, round watch face design, and overall weight. Luckily it doesn't feel too bulky or cumbersome when on the wrist. Over to the side we have the crown and some buttons. With a closer look at the crown and you'll spot the Emporio Armani logo which is a nice touch. The crown takes you to the Android Wear interface with smooth scrolling while holding it down takes you to Google Assistant. The top button gives quick access to featured looks for the watch faces and there are a variety of options to choose from. With the bottom button taking you to the Play Store so you can download additional apps. Overall it is a very attractive design that can blend easily into your everyday wardrobe plus formal wear. This is one of the most important aspects of any watch. And in that regard the Armani Connected nails it. It's simple, yet stylish. Naturally, due to Armani being a brand more focused on fashion rather than tech, you can expect the internal hardware to take a back seat here. The company has even shied away from releasing much of the detailed specs, although we did our best to round up as much as possible. For instance, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 2100 processor provides a zippy experience around the interface. Opening apps and menus almost never suffers from lag. The 46 millimeter AMOLED screen is bright, clear, and visible even in sunlight. The IP67 dust and water resistance will allow up to 3 feet of water for 30 minutes, however fitness enthusiasts will not like the lack of heart rate or GPS sensors. The Armani Connected also lacks LTE connectivity and even NFC, which means no Android Pay. As for software, nearly all Android Wear 2.0 watches will feature the same software experience. The user interface isn't different on each watch unlike what you tend to see on Android phones. Manufacturers, however, create micro apps that personalize the watch closer to the brand, although the Armani Connected foregoes all of that and went for a more what you see is what you get approach. But good news, the Armani Connected is on the short list of watches to receive the Android Oreo update. Now as for the battery, the Armani Connected can last at least a full day with general use, but if you don't charge the watch overnight, you're likely to have it power off on you during the second day. The most we have seen it reach was around 36 hours of use, and as always, the battery life all depends on how you're using the device. So when it comes right down to it, should you buy it? Well, if the omission of heart rate sensors or NFC are an absolute deal breaker, then look elsewhere. But if you like the look or partial to the Armani brand, or even if you're looking for a direct replacement for the Moto 360, then yes, there's no reason not to purchase it. We continue to wear the watch even though the review is complete, which says a lot about it. It does all of the basic smartwatch functions exceptionally well while being one of the most attractive smartwatches on the market right now. Plus the reactions you get when someone asks what kind of watch is that have been really, really awesome. So here's a Power Watch. Hi, so who are you? Power Watch 2. Uh, I'm Douglas Tam, CTO co-founder of Matrix Industries. And here today we're at the uh, CES Unveiled launching our, our second product, uh, which is uh, Power Watch 2. Is this real? I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, energy harvesting. Yeah, of course it's real. I mean, I can show you. with. This is a hat that we've rigged up with our energy harvester, all right? Yeah. I'm going to put it on my head. It's got no batteries. And within a few seconds, it's lighting up. So um, are you doing a smartwatch functionality from the heat yes. or what? Yes. So, uh, so, so the features on this uh, are uh, the, the standard activity and sleep tracking, right? Step count, distance, calories. Um, and in addition, we have an onboard GPS as well as a heart rate monitor. So you can see here that's it's. And that's powered by your body? It's powered by your body. Uh, it captures your body heat. And also, we have a second, uh, in the second generation power watch, we have also a solar cell integrated on the front of the of the watch. Oh, there's a solar, solar power panel. Yes, there's a solar panel right around the ring here. Whoa. So, so is this real or is it a mock up? This is a prototype. It has. Uh, 
It has all the electrical parts that are going into the real product. Obviously, it has a preliminary uh, software running on there. But as we uh, develop and uh, uh, upgrade the firmware, we're going to get it to production. But you don't do the, the heat from the body, right? We do heat from the body. You yeah. do heat. So what is your system for that? So we actually created our own uh, chip for this. We actually developed our own ASIC for, for uh, tra transforming uh, body heat into electricity. So it's the heat difference between yes, uh, it is uh, difference. what the watch is and your body. What the environment is and your body. And, and that arm. heat difference yes. uh, is able to generate power, as I've shown here with the hat, right? Is this your same technology in there? The same, same technology. Chipset here? The same chip is in there. But there's a big sink here, a heat sink, right? right? Sure, yeah. It's just there's no heat sink in the watch. The heat sink is all around the watch. There's a heat sink around? Yes. So, is that what we see here with the, no, those buttons? No. no. Yeah, some of the patterns, but the, the, the case itself is dissipating the heat. Is this a, a memory so, LCD display? Yes, it is a memory LCD display. But it's a okay. color. What's your system? Uh, do you talk about is a microcontroller system in there? Yeah, yeah. there's a ARM Cortex uh, M4. It's an Ambic Apollo 3. It is the lowest power MCU on the market today. Which one? The Ambic Apollo 3. MPEG? Apollo 3. MPEG, which company? A-M-B-I-Q, Ambic. Ambic. Yeah. And, uh, and when you see all this stuff, right, is this? Right now it's powered off because. Yeah. So how long does it does it last? Well, let's you need to wear it all the time for it to work. Let's see. There's something. Yeah, let me check on. No worries. Does it help if you put it on or? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to put it on. So, uh, is this a different version or what? Yeah, this is the uh, this is the different version. Yeah. This is the uh, PowerWatch X, which is the first generation watch. Is that an e, e ink? This is also a, a memory LCD. Nice. It looks like e-ink. It's so contrasty, right? Yeah. But it's memory LCD. So it's a black and white memory LCD, whereas oh. the other one was a color. That's a Tiger Air Connect. That's pretty uh, sh uh, sharp quality. Too. It's better yeah. than the Pebble, right? This display. It, yeah, it, it is a, a, a couple generations uh, better? after the uh, after the Pebble. The Pebble so had a similar uh, reflective uh, reflective uh, memory LCD display. So you sold this on the market? Yeah. That's right. And how many people bought this? About 40,000, is that right? I think so. That's pretty good. Yeah. Is it crowdfunding? Or? Yeah, it was crowdfunded. Like That's Kickstarter? Right. Indiegogo. Indiegogo? Yeah. How much is it it's, on the Indiegogo? Uh, right now, for very limited time only, for, uh, what was it? 199. 199. For 199. Only in. Yeah. Back proceed to hurry up because we're running out. We only have 30 left. Oh my god, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I want to replace my Swatch. Uh, this is also uh, this is called what you know with the um, right. what do you call it? The kinetic. Energy? Kinetic, yeah. Yeah, it's, but it's only for the watch dials, right? You're doing uh, the full smart yes. watch, yes. Which is very special. Is nobody doing this? Yes. Uh, well, the key is to really control power consumption with all the algorithms and the firmware, and try to lower it to the point where uh, energy harvesting can actually step yeah. in. So that's really important. Can we see it again? On, uh, can we see it working? Yeah. So can you put it on? Or, okay, this one has enough power. So, how, how much um, do you have a, some kind I of. I think there's some firmware issue, actually. Do you have some kind of super capacitor, some kind of a thing that stores a, a, just a battery? It's a LiPo battery. It's a LiPo battery inside. And it will last for how long? When, uh... So, you, when you never charge it? You should never charge it, yes. If you wear it outside, inside, all the time, then you, should, you will never have to charge it. Where are you based? We're in uh, Menlo Park, California. And. Um, uh, what's your background and how many people in the company? Uh, well, my, my background personally, is I'm a chemist engineer by training uh, and uh, most of the company is mostly engineers with about 15 people. 15? Yes. So how do you make sure you don't do like Pebble? Because Pebble was amazing, it was became a huge company. Right. And now, I don't know, it's nothing. Uh, we, how is it possible? They were the most successful smartwatch company we out tried, of the Silicon Valley. Yeah, yeah. I think th that's very interesting, right? Uh, I, I think it's a very long discussion, but uh, we, we try to learn from, from them, and uh, in fact, uh, they are really part of our, our inspiration as well. Any, any ex-Pebble yes. employees in your company? Working on it. You, maybe you don't want to say, okay. <laughs> maybe, okay. Cool, all right, thanks all so right, much. Thank you, thank, thank you, Nicholas. Thanks, uh, Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, we initially crowdfunded, so this is part okay. of As you can see, it looks a lot different. It has a 